What is happening, y'all? Welcome. Welcome back to another Mass Effect stream. Just need to grab it. Go. Got to make sure the thumbnail doesn't get all funky on me. But yes, we are uh, continuing on. Been a bit of an interesting day. Grab me a drink. So, um, start, uh, for those that don't know, Miyura-san passed away, the author of Berserk. Very, very sad news. Wearing my Berserk shirt today. Kind of kind of been like funk for the whole day. Because uh, dude's had heart problems for a while. Um, and he... I guess he, he died back at the start of the month. And, you know, in Japan they, they don't announce uh, deaths like that. Initially, they want the family to have time to grieve. So everyone found out about it last night. But just, you know, really, really, like, shitty news. Um, you know, Berserk is responsible for a lot of things, you know. If we didn't have Berserk, we probably would have never had Dark Souls or Bloodborne or Monster Hunter or Castlevania. Like, there's just so much inspiration in uh, in games and in the media in general that was pulled from Berserk. I mean, the pale blood symbol is literally like a ripoff of the the brand from Berserk. So Definitely a shitty start to the day. Um, and anyway, to add on to that, more, more uh, issues with the underwriter for the house being a breathing bag of dicks. So... Hasn't been the best day, but I closed on my house at least, so. Which uh, will be interesting to see what happens, because in theory, if the underwriter decides that he's going to be a dickhead, I could be homeless come Monday. It's unlikely. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> find out what happens, right? Always nice to, to hear. Right, so what are we what are we doing right now anyway? I gotta get three. I really want to get to Nemesis or Super Singularity. Recharge time is always at four point one. Almost hits three targets. I'll pick that up. Why not? Uh, zero points, one point. Okay. Where are we supposed to go? Objection. Objective this way. I mean, the underwriters. I wouldn't. I wouldn't describe him as shady. He's just a, a fucking idiot. I have a karaoke job that pays me 500 a month and almost prevented me from getting my house while the paper. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is, dude. It's so ridiculous that if you have uh, supplemental income, in my case, the YouTube channel, of course, it's just, it, it's, I mean, it's bullshit. It's bullshit on top of bullshit. It's insane. Sit down! 
Oh shit. What the fuck was that? carrying right now. It's a down dummy. Engaging target. I have high hopes everything that the house goes through. Being homeless does not sound fun. Which I mean even if that happened I'd you know we'd find a place to live obviously but Really fucking hoping that shit doesn't go down like that. Man, not hitting right. Gambling terminal. Purple. Orange, a little bit of white and some blue. No oh, shit. Um. some blue. Oh, shit. Well, that's gone forever. We get a save. Oh, I should F5 before I do those. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha. The plague. But this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. 
Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Are you away. finding the gym? Thanks again. I've been feeling good. I owe you. Well, everything. We're, right now we're doing um, cluster sets, which has been interesting. So the idea is like with deadlifts, we do three reps and then drop the bar for 10 seconds and then do one rep and then 10 seconds and then one rep and then 10 seconds and then one rep. So basically a three, one, one, one. Um, and we're doing that with like fucking everything. So. Like we're doing the... Uh, Um, stuff doing, uh, blah, 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 words are hard. Um, we did, uh, shoulder, barbell shoulder press with cluster sets. And then we did squat clusters. And then we did, uh, deadlift clusters so far. Man, and they fucking, they wear you down. I'm loving it. We just keep, we're, we're aiming for a thousand on big three right now. So, I'm having a lot of fun getting... Swole as fuck, because I've never been as big as I am now in my entire life. Oh boy. Oh god. Please no. Shoulder I guess it's a it's a barbell shoulder press. All I know is we're we're starting, so the bar starts here. And lift the bar off the rack, straight up vertical, drop it on down. It's coming down in front of our face if that makes a difference, as opposed to behind our head. Sound? You're on speakers, not mine. I totally have speakers. Cardio. Well, no, that's not true. I have a rowing machine that I like to use, but right now I'm not using it. I've been uh, trying to. I mean, I should be using the rowing machine, and I was using it for a while, and then once all the house shit started, just adding in the extra stress from that, I just stopped using it really. I mean, cardio, it, you should do cardio. Cardio is, I mean, obviously it depends on what your, what your specific goals are as a, what you're trying to do. Um, but cardio is good for losing weight. And not just losing weight, but you know, getting rid of the, and I guess it's it's a losing weight thing, but mainly you know, making sure that you're getting rid of the uh... oh, cardio is good. Cardio does not hurt you. It helps with visceral fat and subcutaneous fat, and uh, you know. Good 
Good for you. But right now, I just don't... Uh, once the once the house stuff is done, and we move in, and I get the rowing machine set up again, I think I'll start doing cardio then. But until then, I just... I'm so annoyed. Creatine is good. I do creatine. I suggest a little bit of creatine with a protein shake. And as for workout time, that's going to vary per person. I, I personally work out for an hour. I feel like an hour is about... An hour tends to be good for me. If I go past an hour, I start to, you know... I hit a point where I'm just I'm too tired to really... You know, I don't want to keep going after that. Yeah, two hours, I would, I mean, two hours my ass would be dragging, literally. I think, um, I think one hour workout time is, is perfect for me. Maybe 90 minutes if I really wanted to push it. But, yeah, like, I have, I have friends that, that they'll, like, go to the gym, and they'll spend, like, three hours there, and I'm like, the what is, that's not, like, I'm pretty sure you're just hurting you yourself at that the point. Cure, the Orlando coming in with the booty champion. Oh, you don't come here. We shut down machines. Break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. What do the collectors want? <sighs> Collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah. Blood We're pack boom boom squad. Burning concussive shot. Reactivate the fans. Press it. Nice. I have located the Moving to cover. What was your favorite moment in the series? Do you have any theories based on what we saw in the Mass Effect 4 trailer? I have. Oh, come on, Miranda. I have no theories.
artifacts just... Uh, so some folks got by me early and seems like a mediocre game. I'll wait for Cowboy Stream to see. I'm technically, I can't talk about it. So I'm still. You know, a couple people have uh, gotten paid deals to talk about the game early. I am not one of them. So, you will hear about the game from me. When it is, uh, embargo is down. Which is Monday. If I put on, um, let the squad use their powers, they'll be better. This will put them down. Come on, hit it! No fucking! Oh my fucking god, dude! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this the very start? Oh, holy shit. We've been spotted. Oh my god. Bro. Everyone show. What did the cook and load? Yeah, y'all can talk about Biomutant all you want. I I've been playing Biomutant, so I can't talk about it. Y'all can say whatever the fuck you want about it, I just can't. Just don't expect me to really say anything. Flamethrower guys. 
No, that guy's always in here. He just has a weird username. This fan is powering back up. We we'll still need to activate the other one. I agree, though. His name is fucking weird. This will put him down. This is Mass Effect 2. Oh god. Engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping, patients improving, Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Sometimes execute dangerous. I mean, he'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Borja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy. Level alert six, two squad points. The mission complete screen is such a weird part of Mass Effect. But we got this, which is nice. And we got a new, I know that's an assault rifle upgrade, micro scanner. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. 
but this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne virus. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? <laughs> this ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. I'm gonna try and, um... What do you want? The bot might still be down. Let me look. The bot was having an issue with YouTube API the other day. All right, let's see the bot should show up in a little bit here. Uh, right now we are on, we're playing on veteran. Cerberus assault armor. Where is more than, more than, more than lab. Okay, assault rifle damage, or submachine gun damage. Armor upgrade, medigel capacity, or tech damage. Um, medigel capacity, yes. People are dying left and right. Collector assault rifle. Oh. Don't really need heavy weapon ammo. Negation, negotiation bonus 10%, tech and biotic 10%, storm speed 10%, M22 eviscerator, Cerberus assault armor, heavy weapon ammo by 10, shields 10, health 10, collector, regen 10, storm 10, health 20, that's kind of cool, and then a missile launcher, hmm. Checking the bot. Well, I gotta figure out who's gonna be in my squad. For now, let's do SMG damage. And tech. I'm gonna have at least one assault guy, so we'll get that too. There we go. Now the bot's alive. Hack module. Ready to capacity. Engage attack and biotic. I might use that. I 
One more tech damage upgrade to unlock. Do you have a Monster Hunter Rise build document? Or just the videos? I have no document, just videos. I don't I don't uh I don't do documents. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Oh, these are the upgrades that I have. Let me know if upgrades seem feasible. Can install them whenever you like. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. What? I look like Furious Pete? What does that even mean? Like order food. I'm just starving. Why am I so hungry? I mean, it was a hard workout. Power damage 15, shield 10. Power 15, shield 10. So I'd be trading 5% power and 10% shield for storm speed and negotiation. Looks like this armor was a waste. I should have not made that and it auto saved. Is there a load? Is there a different load? There is not. Son of a bitch. What is considered a primer in Mass Effect 2? Let me look at power combos. Biotic explosion. I need to look up warp warp uh warp detonations. Warp detonations. Because if it's only warp that's priming, then that's odd. Enemies being affected by pull, singularity, or slam. Using warp on it will result in a slightly different effect. I've made a chart below. Um, boo, doo, doo, doo. Doo, doo, doo. is that it? Just pull singularity or slam? Singularity, gunfire detonation. We ex completely exclude power damage itself and assume both are at rank 5 perk. Da, 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 da. Warp is one of the best biotic setups and detonators. Take any evolutions with regards to biotic explosions. I hear about the bad news. Hope the night gets another. Get some cash to get food. Cheers. Appreciate that. We're about to get food in a second here, I think. Warp sets up explosion triggered by shockwave. The most powerful detonation you could get. So do I want pull? Shockwave throw warp is the detonator. Shockwave throw warp is the detonator. And so the primer is warp, pull, and singularity. I 
mean, we might as well spend a point. I don't remember Shockwave being that good. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I don't have time for it. Oh, damn it. What's this area of the ship? This is the combat information center. Here, the crew received... Shockwave's the most hard-hitting. I just don't remember it being very good. Medbay upgrade. More than Omni tool. Uh, wrong side. Let's go to the other side. Let's see what the other upgrades are. Right, that's good. Armor upgrades. Nope, that's good. Ship enhancements. No! Oh, damn. 50,000. Using this will immediately and completely heal your scars. I do not need to do that. That's That seems a bit unnecessary. Morden gets 20% tech power damage. Damn! Morden's about to be like, wow! Just wipe people out, dude. The Cerberus armor looks... The Collector Chitin armor it looks badass. It reminds me of, like, something from Skyrim. Like, the underground people. Um, let me door dash real fast. I want to order this food. Someone literally paid for this food. Which means I have to order it. Um, bum 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 dum. What is easy to eat? Why don't we play Mass Effect? Jersey Mike's or Subway. That's kind of easy to eat. Wayback Burgers is trash. We're not doing that. Um, pizza. I don't want Greek. It's probably pizza or subs or fast food. Uh-oh. -uh. Sweet lose. I do sweet lose just over. The last time I was going to do sweet lose, instead, we ordered the what was like $20 worth of McDonald's. It was just like, just give me all the fast food. The funniest thing is now that I'm like not, uh, not tracking what I eat at all, and I'm just going fucking ham and just working out like crazy and consuming calories, I'm getting more gains than ever before. Like, my weight is up, obviously. But before, it was always like a balancing act, and now I'm just like, food, feed me. I'm just ripping crazy fucking games. I can't wait for volleyball. No messages for you, Commander. You just, they just, oh man. Alright, let's see. I'm just gonna go to Zoria and liberate. Stop the collectors. Master of Stealth. Shepherd in the Citadel in the Zakara Ward. Citadel. Corliss. Dusty the convict Jack. Jack claps cheeks. Basically a dirty bulk, yeah. Just calories. Wow. More calories. I mean, uh, McDonald's is trash. 
chat, what should I get? Should we do it? Should we do a chat poll for <laughs> for food? Uh, let's see. Because I got tomorrow off work, so we're probably going to go late. This is going to be like a three, four hour, maybe five hour stream. Mm. All right, so I got to pee anyway. So chat, you get to vote while I go pee, and then we're going to let this poll run. Do we get vote one for Mickey D's, vote two for Sweet Lou's, and vote three for Chili's. I'll be right back. So, all right, let's see. Right now, the vote is in favor of Sweet Lou's. So, let's I'm gonna go ahead and order the Sweet Lou's right now. Which is, is it Sweet Lou's, is, it's just fucking Bar Louie. But they have some other stuff. Um, yeah, we're gonna just get, I want chicken, I think. Or they have a bacon, egg, and cheeseburger. There's just a whole egg on there. Oh, man. Custom blend burger, white cheddar, bacon jam, candied bacon, fried egg, garlic aioli, and toasted bruschetta bun. Oh, my God. This thing is going to be so fucking messy. It's going to be so messy. But it looks so good. And then there's a hot honey chicken sandwich. Ham breaded fried chicken breast. With hot seasoning, homemade jalapeno honey, pickles, and a toasted bun. Mm, I need this. We're just going to get tots. I'm going to get that. Maybe I just need one. Southern fried chicken sandwich? What the fuck is this? Fried chicken breast, candied bacon, fried egg, pimento cheese, and a bun. Oh my god. We got fried pickles, just fried at fucking everything. Fried ahi tuna burger. That's interesting. We got a, oh, I've had this before. Barbecue pulled pork mac and grilled cheese sandwich. Pulled pork barbecue sauce, mac and cheese, toasted Parmesan crusted sourdough, herb cheese spread, triple stacked with cheddar, mozzarella, and provolone. Just fucking hit, hit you right in the arteries. And they got a, a buffalo chicken. I don't like blue cheese crumbles. I don't like blue cheese crumbles. We're going to go for the... Uh, uh, um, maybe I just get an order of mac and cheese off the kids menu. They don't know that I'm not a kid. I'm doing that. I'm getting a side of mac and cheese and then a hot honey chicken sandwich. That sounds perfect. Give me this food as soon as possible, please. You can just funnel it directly into my mouth. Be like, ah, ah. Just have all the food, just pour the food down my mouth. 
give me all all of the food all right going for the artery attack nah dude as heavy as i work out uh let's go to fahar father we must purchase more fuel or use a mass relay shepherd oh Normandy crash site. Um, the only one that's that's marked is the Normandy crash site. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna do some probing. Actually, probing. I should probe after. After I get food. Probe away. Probe in these Research poor plants. Used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Launched. In research projects, iridium is used to No, this is I'm probing with one hand right now. I am an expert at one handed probing. Ask your mother. Probe away. Probe away. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Probe away. I need to, uh, hang on. I need to change my mouse. What are my 816? Yeah, those are good. Oh, found it. Launching probe. Launching probe. Bro, this planet has so much. Oh my god. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe Poor launched. scanner results as I just load up on even more platinum. Damn. So many probes on Dorgal. Show me the food.
have detected an anomaly. An anomaly? Let's land and find out. Um, I'm good. Miranda, she pretty good. Oh yes. Murder armor. Um, cryoblast. All right, we are the hand cannon gang. I don't want to put points in scientist. I'm getting just like hit so hard. I might need to lower the difficulty even more. Like my dude is just, I'm getting. I'm taking an uncomfortable amount of damage, you know?
We'll save uh, seas. Oh shit. No. Damn it. I have to right. Mount that one. Platinum. Two can be hella tough. I think part of the problem is three is where we start getting a little nutty with like all the power combos. Um, until we have those and until my shit's updated. Like basically I need, I need my adept spells to really get the party going. I mean, technically, there's two more difficulties beyond. There's Veteran, Insanity, and then Hardcore, and then Veteran. This computer contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Upload data to Cerberus. Upload data to Alliance. Um... Make Cerberus indebted to me. Data uploaded to Cerberus command. Yeah, unless unless there's a vote, I'm just gonna pick my own shit. I'm just making sure you know. Why would I be dicking over? Alliance left me for dead, bro. I ain't gonna fuck him over. What do y'all like the flavor of Alliance dick? The Alliance didn't spend billions of dollars rebuilding Shepard. You wanna know who did that? Cerberus. Cerberus did that. Give it to the Alliance. Fuck the Alliance. They left me for dead, dude. It's the same, same as when, when I, we put the vote for, should we save the council? And you save the council, cowboy. Save the council. Like, what the fuck? After the council has literally been like, yeah, uh, Commander Shepard smells like old farts that were trapped inside a Pringles can. And uh, he's a bitch. And you're like, yeah, the council's really cool. We should save him. Exactly. Allegiance to yourself. That is exactly right. There's a terminal. Oh. No messages for you, Commander. Yeah, that that would be smart. I should do that more. I'm just saying, man. I don't like when people are like, well, the good guys. I don't care about the good guys. This is me. Do you see? Do you see a Commander Shepard? Because I see a Commander motherfucking fighting cowboy. Launching probe. Give me all your shit. No, that's not enough to. I need, I need a big hit. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Probe away. I'm getting lots of platinum. Let me go. Uh -oh, ooh. Launching 
launching probe. Probe launched. We have a little bit of everything. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away. Platinum. It's still moderate. What else is there to get? Like we probe this planet dry. It's like America looking for oil. Probe. All right, well, I've used up most of my probes, so um, launching probe. It's up there. Probe launched. Damn. I'm good on platinum. Platinum, palladium. Just looking more. Okay, so there's there might maybe maybe a reason to come back. No, damn it. I hate that escape backs me all the way out. I need to back it on up. I need to, uh... Yep, go on. Enter the system. Enter Sahaba Rake. What did you think about the ending of Village? I liked it. Buy in my probes. That one planet used up so much, dude. Do I go back? Should we go back to Fahar? What do y'all think? There was stuff on that planet. I didn't mine it dry. Which, let's be honest. If you haven't mined the planet of all its resources, are you even doing the American way? I don't know. Look at that hit. Oh, yeah. Big palladium score. And big iridium score. We mine until the planet is poor. America. Fuck yeah. Taking all the resources on the planet. Cool, America. Fuck yeah. Sending a probe to your planet from outer space. Aliens will come and for you if we find your plan that will take your resources to America. Fuck yeah. Now all of your environment is moderate America. Fuck yeah. Take all your platinum and make some fancy jewelry. Probe launched. You can mine until it's depleted. It's just a question of if we want to do that. Oh, where was that one? That's not enough to justify. I need stuff that's at least a couple ticks up. This one is like, that's like the bare minimum for me to fire a probe. Now 
that's where you want to fire a probe. Back it up. <laughs> Tom, you don't got to worry about caps. I got the bot. If somebody is using too many caps, the bot will handle it. Where's this food? Is it almost here? No, it's not. Oh my god, I just want to eat. Launching <laughs> probe. Mm. That's the good Probe stuff. Probe away. Mm. Launching probe. That's pretty Probe good launched. for a poor. Where's that? Where's that at? I just saw a big hit. There Probe we go. Away. Okay. Results. That's nice. See, this is how. This is the, I, after you do this, you never got to worry about picking up resources again. Booty bots working fine, man. Just give it a little bit. Be patient. Working hard. Ooh, ooh, ooh some element zero. Hello. Gonna play the Scarlet Nexus demo. Oh, maybe you should tune into the channel in a couple hours and uh, there might be something waiting for you. Launching probe. Now, YouTube is having probe API launched. problems, which that's gonna impact the bot. And it's not really the bot's fault, it's an API issue, so. Oh damn! Look at that! Look at that hit on Element Zero. Big money! Ooh. 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 It is really relaxing. Plus, this is like the perfect thing to do when the food shows up, because I can just eat with one hand while we just probe the shit out of some planets. And it's like, you gotta do this shit. So the interesting thing about Mass Effect, um, specifically the story, and I would say this is one of the most impactful in the history of games, but the final mission in Mass Effect 2 is classified as a suicide mission because no one has ever come back from where we're going and there's a good chance we could end up dead. The crazy thing is, when you go out on that mission, making the wrong choices can literally result in every single member dying. Like, the entire thing, how we have, like, you know, fucking ten different people that could be in our party. You could fuck up, and 
every single teammate on your crew could end up dead. Probe away. You can make it so everybody, including even Shepard, ends up dead. And the and that the consequences of that will carry over into Mass Effect 3. Which, like, I mean, what other game does that? That's insane to think about. It's so insane to think about. Like, seriously, can you think... Can you think of a single other game where... You know... A, f a slight fuck up decision can completely devastate a future playthrough. Now, let's be honest, if you're fucking up that bad, you probably did it on purpose. No, if, you're, if your Shepard dies in Mass Effect 2, there's still a Shepard in Mass Effect 3, but it's not your Shepard. You, if you die in Mass Effect 2, you can't... Um, we're gonna go back to the other planet. You don't get to export your save. If your if your shepherd ends up dead, that's it. That save is gone. Like you just don't. You might as well start a brand new save. And Nagana. They're still good. I'll get you. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, yes. There we go. Launching probe. Yeah. If you, if you, if everybody dies in Mass Effect 2, you just get a new generic Shepard. All the decisions your Shepard made is irrelevant because he was a maniac and got his entire party killed. Probe away. Depleted. I drained it dry. Oh, I feel so bad, but not really. This food's on the way. Oh, oh, look at that little guy hiding here. Moderate results. I need more than that. Come on. It's not bad. Oh, it's kind of crap. I'm gonna just buy it. When this is done, honestly, I think I'll just buy every single upgrade in the ship. Like, oh, this costs how much? Cool, I'll buy it. Launching probe. Probe launched. But doing this, so a big part of uh, of whether Launching or not probe. your squad is gonna survive and all that uh, depends on the readiness of your squad, how how much time you spent getting everybody ready, and by getting people ready, I'm talking about like upgrades, and then there's there's obviously certain things like you know certain people are better for tasks than others. But so if we're trying to have the gang all together in Mass Effect 3. We want to try our best. Yeah, so you gotta you gotta work on loyalty for everybody. You need the whole crew to be loyal, and on top of that, you gotta make sure people are assigned to the right job. And that's something that's gonna be all left up to voting. So, whether or not most of the party is dead going into Mass Effect 3 is ultimately going to be a decision that's determined by chat.
probe launched. I have so much hate for Andromeda. Story just wasn't good. Unmemorable characters. Big focus on Watch gameplay. Pro. Yeah, and it was buggy. People's faces would be like, Hur. just wigging the fuck out. Mm. What's left is. Out care. Probe away. I have found something. I think my food, I think I have time to do this before the food shows up. Let's see. Mm, yeah, oh, I definitely do, because this guy's fucking delivering food to someone else first. I hate when they do that shit so much. Tags and shit. Dude, the Mass Effect 3 online was so much fun. Mohawk and Beer Cowboys way aggressive. I mean, I wouldn't say I was more aggressive, I was just younger and edgier. And you know, you get older. Where the fuck is the refined element zero? You get older and you have a baby. And uh, you know, you cool down, things cool down. Honestly, after you have a kid, like, you just stop caring about so much shit. Like, you stop worrying about the dickheads. Like, a big part of streaming is obviously dealing with, with trolls. And, uh... Press F to place monument? After, after you have a baby, like, none of that shit matters anymore. Like... Some dude comes in and he's salty that you're playing a game and not the way he likes. Fuck him. You know, I got a wife and kid to worry about. This, the fact that someone's butt hurt, his existence means fucking nothing to me. I spent more time 
thinking about how many wipes I need to use to get my butthole clean than I do about this dickhead in chat. But before, before the baby, you know, you like someone comes in and they're like, oh, you fucking suck. And like, you take that shit to heart. You're like, man, like, do I suck? No, it's the kids who are wrong. No, no. But like, it gets into your head a lot more. But yeah, after, after a kid, man, none of that shit matters. None of that shit matters anymore. You're like, no, don't care. Don't care. Get fucked. Don't care. I mean, it changes in a good way. Like, I wouldn't. I love being a dad. Shit is so much fun. I mean, it never really mattered that much to me. Because I've always been very nonchalant about things, but... I think back... Back, uh... Back in my younger days... I cared more about it. These days, I don't care at all about it. I guess it's a difference, like, because once you have a kid, you you know, it really just puts into scope just how much uh, that, like, the dumb shit on the internet really doesn't matter. As soon as you stop caring about people's opinions, of you the happier. But yeah, no, that too, like. Definitely, I think I'm the happiest I've ever been. Even even Paige's mom was like, you've been really chill through this whole mortgage thing. You know, usually you're kind of high strung about stuff like this. And I'm like, I mean, the underwriter's a dickhead, but there's nothing I can do about it. The fact that this guy likes the smell of his own farts doesn't bother me. Like, if anybody ends up in trouble, it's his ass. Every time they've asked me for a document, I've had that document that day. Like, I've done everything I possibly can to get this house. If dickhead fucks up and we don't get the house, well, that's on them, not on me. I've done my due diligence. Now, see, the best, the best part about when you reach, like, peak dadhood and you just have no fucks left to give is clothing. Dude, I wear, like... I remember being like back in my 20s and like actually thinking about like an outfit before going out like all right we're gonna be going out um let me see this sh no you know i don't like the way this shirt sits um let me go for this shirt fits me a little bit better and oh you know those shorts don't fit let me let me go a different pair of shorts dude i have like i have like two pairs of like soft towel shorts i either wear those or i wear basketball shorts and that's it. And my the rest of my wardrobe is like either anime or video game t-shirts. And that's all I fucking wear. Like half the time I'll go out in like pajama pants. I just don't care. I'm like, don't give a shit. Don't, there's no shit to give. People be like, we're going downtown. And I'm like, I'm wearing pajama pants <laughs> and slippers and a hoodie. Like... <laughs> it's, it's so nice, like, the, the lack of fucks to give. Oh, man. Like, the other night, it happened. When I went out. It was, like, well, you know, uh, right after, like, where I'm at, the, the quarantine was all done, and they were letting people back out in bars and shit. And we, so we went out to shoot pool. And my friend shows up. He's got fucking jeans on and his cowboy boots and a cowboy hat. And he's like, yeah, we're going down to Broadway. And I'm basically there in like some baggy pajama pants and a t-shirt and a cap. And I'm like, well, you do whatever the fuck you want. I'm going <laughs> to have a couple beers and go to bed. <laughs> oh, man, it felt nice. They actually they, they went down to Broadway. I was like, no, nope. no. Nah. It's like, I think I'm going to be asleep by like midnight. Like jeans? Oh my god. I haven't worn a pair of jeans. I don't know. 
Like I didn't, I, I was, I didn't really wear jeans, uh, you know, before the pandemic. Like the last time I think I wore jeans was like back when I was like a young single lad, like going out to bars and stuff. Now the idea of jeans, I'm just like, no, <laughs> no, those are restricting my balls like the air. Spoke to the commander about this. All these damned aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced ship. I don't trust them. Especially blank that damned Asari and Aquarian. What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? Navigator Presley. Holy shit, dude. Aquarian. Seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage. I can understand that. Babysit my child or anything. But if she has to be on board, I suppose it's not too bad. When taking a look back at past entries, how blind I was at the time. I came on a ship firmly believing humanity was on its own. Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud to say something die for any member of this crew. Well, that's good that he stopped being a dickhead. Zero fucks to give. Matter My fact fucks are on back order <laughs> with no ETA, right? Oh, dude, yeah, the get out of people. Are, somebody was like, hey, we're doing a birthday dinner at 8 p.m. I was like, mm, I got a stuff with the baby. Sorry. But like, to be fair, who the fuck does a birthday dinner at 8 p.m.? Who does that? 8 p.m.? That's late as shit. I would never willingly go out and eat dinner that late. If I'm eating that late, it's because I was streaming and I didn't have a choice. There, There is no... <laughs> There's no no scenario where you're gonna get me to leave my house at eight o'clock and meet to get dinner. By the time y'all get food, it's fucking nine p.m. And then you're gonna want drinks. Like we're not even leaving the restaurant till ten. No, I need to be I need to be home and like ready to get in bed. Where was I? Just oh, refined element zero. Where? Over there somewhere. Right, I'm so tired these days. That's the only thing with, with like the kid, is I do notice I'm tired a lot more. Like I just want naps all the time. I really thought jean shorts were frowned upon until she told me. <laughs> Guys, we're missing one dog tag. Everyone keep their eyes out. We're missing one. Do oh, 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 hang on, hang on. A twenty of twenty. Yeah, twelve is is when I go to sleep now. I can't wait to go to get the part time shift because when I shift to part time, I'm gonna be I'll be streaming a lot earlier. Like my streams will probably take place around um like five o'clock Eastern. So possibly even earlier as opposed to like because right now i stream from 7 to 10 my time which is less than ideal and i think that's going to be moved to like three or four to seven which will be really nice because what i'll end up doing is like get done work go to the gym come home it'll be like day stream for the u.s or night stream for eu so more people will be able to show up and then uh wrap up the stream at like 6.37, eat some dinner, and then go to bed. That's gonna be good. What do you want, Jackie Cat? Mm, DoorDash, where is this food? Oh, it's close. It's close. Jack, I'm not feeding you, bro. You got food. Jim's going good. I'm getting them fucking thick gains. Thick gains. We're on the game train. Choo choo. And we got a rich planet. Oh, 
launching a probe. Oh yeah, I could stay up late for the right things. Not usually going out. If I'm staying up late, it's usually I'm usually staying up late watching a show. Like there's a show that I'm like, oh my god, this show's good. I gotta binge watch this. Like when when I first started watching Incredible, I was up till like almost 4 a.m. watching that, and then I was like, I need to go to bed. I can finish this tomorrow, but I have to go to sleep. Probe. The nice thing about the dad throughs is they're way more chill. Probe away. Like Jackie Cat. Oh man. I can't wait. The food's almost here. What game are you most excited to share with your lad? Um I think teaching him to play Smash Bros is going to be a lot of fun. Probe away. I think Smash Bros and I think playing like Rock Band with my kid is going to be a lot of fun. And uh Probe. I mean, if he gets interested in Souls games, I'll certainly, like, watch him, but I'm not gonna, like, push him towards Souls games. I feel like Souls games are, Souls games are something you have to, you have to enjoy on your own. Like, to be honest, I'm not even gonna really, like, push my kid towards video games. Like, I grew up loving video games. But maybe that won't be him. Maybe he'll, you know, maybe he'll be like a big sports dude. And he wants to, you know, wants to play outside constantly, and he doesn't like games. And if that's what happens, then you know that's what happens. Um, but I am very much of the idea that, you know, your kid is your kid, and yeah. Your kid is an offset of you, but they're only a part of you. They're not a clone of you. And I don't think, like, you know, I think that shit's weird. Like, parents that they really, they feel obligated to, like, instill their own, uh, they, they have to instill their own values and their desires into their kid my food's here like you know like someone that used to run track and they they stopped running track or whatever and then so they really want their kid to run track and you know they want their kid to break that four minute mile that they never got like that's fucking weird let your kids grow up and be their own person they don't have to be a clone of you but let me go grab this food
Like my thing is I I enjoy video games and weightlifting and volleyball. I hope my kid enjoys all that shit, but if he doesn't, oh well. Oh, yeah, boy. to get uh, ketchup probably. I think the only thing I'll really instill into my kid is exercise. I'm always going to push for him to do something, whether it's sports or weightlifting or, you know, jogging. It doesn't matter. The last, like, I'm not going to... That's that's a big problem with America is people that they just let their kids eat whatever the fuck they want and then sit inside all day. And then you got, like, obese children running around. Like, that shit's sad, man. I don't, you know, I don't want my kid to be, like, fucking obese and, like, struggling to move. Like, I can't imagine that shit. Be, like, fucking 10, you know, <sighs> like, out of breath getting up. Like, fuck no. That will not be my child. Launching probe. You know, if he gets... When he's older, it's a problem in China now, they call them little emperors. That's actually really funny sounding. But you know, like when he's older, he wants to like, you know, you just want to be fucking big and not do anything and not work out. That's your decision, son. But while you're young, you're not letting you, you know, we're not ending up on, on my 300 pound life. Little Emperor is just funny as shit. Are you are you serious? Is that what they actually call him? Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Away. Probe launched. Mm. That makes sense. Probe away. Probe away. Not a joke, it's real. I just googled it. It's funny. I should have gotten the burger too. Hopefully the mac and cheese fills me up. Power, my guy. Probe souls. Probe 
away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launched. Probe away. It was a heavily obese kid. Nine hundred twenty pounds. I had a growth spurt while maintaining the same weight all the way up to thirteen. I was about six two and still one hundred twenty pounds. So one of my one of my Probe nephews away. is like he's a swimmer. And he's like he's either six two or he's six three. But he weighs maybe like hundred and fifty pounds and I mean Probe His problem is he doesn't he doesn't eat like you need to eat. And he's like he wants to get big too, because we were talking about it. He's like, you know, I think I want to pack on muscle, I wanna like get real big and I'm like, Boy, you gotta start Probe fucking away. eating. Like, this dude eats like a fucking rabbit. He'll just, like, graze a little bit. Eat some tofu. I'm like, nah, you need... You need to be eating, like, fucking two steaks a day. At your size? At your age? With your metabolism? Like, bro, you either... Either you are eating, or you're not getting weight. Well, I just think he won't, he doesn't really eat carbs, so he doesn't have the excess calories, and he doesn't like beef, so he's not getting the protein he needs to build muscle. What do you want, Jack? You can't have tater tots. I mean, there are, there are very extreme cases where obesity is genetically related, but generally it's, it's, you know, it's issues with overeating and lack of exercise. I was an obese kid growing up. My parents never really instilled healthy into me at 21. I had diabetes and heart issues, lost 150 pounds this year. Fuck yeah, dude. That's fantastic. Oh shit, we're out of probes. some good souls likes mm. are you okay with 2d games assault and sanctuary is literally 2d dark souls commander you've received a new message at your private terminal Armory? No, shit. I'm trying to do this with one hand. 
most affiliate which town? Uh, Sicklerville. It's right by like Cross Keys and all that shit. Like between Philadelphia and Atlantic City. Mortal Shell is such a good, like, light Dark Souls. Can't get those. The oh, fuck, why can't I get any of these? literally just gonna get everything like none of this matters I have near infinite fucking resources now Rapid fire missile launcher? That sounds fun. Facial reconstruction now available. I should go go check. No messages for you, Commander. Magic Arena mobile and play against people on PC, yeah. But there shouldn't be any difference between PC and mobile there. Dr. Chakwas. Yes, look at my repaired cheeks. My cheeks have been permanently repaired. It's a beautiful day. With my beautiful face. Repairing my cheeks. Out in outer space. Now it's time to probe. Probe planets for me. What a beautiful day. In outer space. Fall in order is soulsy, kind of. Mm, I'd agree. Macaroni and cheese looks terrible. See how it tastes, though. That's the factor. Alright, it tastes fucking good. This planet I didn't finish. Wait, is it only one planet here? Just Utha? You gotta mine it dry then. You can't leave this system with a rich planet. We'll do new gear in a bit. I just want to finish my probing. The whole point of, of probing was mainly because it gave me something to do while eating. 
we're done eating, but I'm so close to finishing the probing. It's like, well, I might as well, you know? Away. Reapers are harvesting people and I'm harvesting planets. It's a race against time. For he who controls the oil controls America. Probe launched. Probe away. Ooh, that's a good hit. Mm, where is it at? There's a rich spot somewhere. Oh. Probe launched. You can't trust the tags on Steam. You go to Dark Souls when people Launching are like probe. Romance Sim. Casual. Relaxing. Probe away. Like, steam tags are just trolls. Probe launched. You're doing sit ups, and I'm sitting here stuffing mac and cheese in my face. Probe launched. On a more serious note, I'm actually not sure if I thawed out a steak tonight, and I'm gonna probably need. Maybe two steaks. That was a lot of luster. Launching probe. Cluster deadlifts really take it out of you. Probe launched. Hmm. Right. There's only one system left with Patala. Um, so we'll go here. Actually, no. I lie. There's only one system left in this system. Oh, man. That and that and that and that. So much probing! There's so much probing to do. Can I go probe Earth? I mean, you don't even need to probe every, everything, but... Did we... Did we do Binder? We didn't. Oh, man. Can we actually go probe Uranus? I feel like the game wouldn't let us do that. I feel like that's too... It's too obvious. Three planets in this system. I mean, I know it's on the local cluster, but you'd assume they would have already probed it. Probe launched. Probe away. launched 
probe away. Probe away. We're gonna go probe Uranus in a second. Launching probe. Because once we do these three... I mean, I also could only... I, I, I should start only hitting, like, high-yield spots like that. When I get a big arm, hit it. Otherwise, not worry about it. Well, that's a medium earner. I don't want to... Probe launched. This is done. Give me a second. Okay. Whew. Oh, that food was so good. 
unexplored, unprobed, and ready for a party. Ooh, party. Big hits and element zero. Let's go. I I was eating chicken and mac and cheese and tater tots. Some good thick ba food. Launching probe. Ranch dressing goes on almost everything. No, no. Ranch dressing Launching should probe. go on nothing. See, we just talked about obesity. You can't come in here advocating for ranch dressing. No one is saying it doesn't taste good. But you're not supposed to... You're not supposed to just put ranch on everything. In fact, there's some things that I think are illegal. Like, I'm pretty confident in most southern states that if you put ranch on a steak that they straight to jail like the cops they they actually show up and they arrest you on the spot and take you off to jail Ranch on me? No, no, you won't. I don't do ranch anymore. You know, it's the weirdest snack doing ranch with like celery or carrots because you're eating something that's healthy and you're dipping it in basically like liquid fat. It's such a weird thing, but it's so common. Like, you get a vegetable spread, vegetable spread, boom. Vegetable spread is is gonna have uh, celery, and it's gonna have some fucking ranch to dip that celery in. Been to jail for mayonnaise abuse. Yeah, the mayonnaise police are pretty strict. Peanut butter on celery is actually fucking good. It's one of those things like you don't even think about until you do it and then you're like, oh, this is good. good under the right circumstances a little bit of mayo on like a grilled chicken sandwich or on a burger can go a long way that's when people like overdo it they're like oh yeah i want to put some mayo on my fried rice it's like no you should go to jail for doing that yo hey Listen, you can knock soda all you want, but just leave my Coke Zeros out of this, alright? Is the Coke Zero is one of the few things I get to enjoy these days, because it has no sugar. Let me Broke let me away. and this is this is cherry Coke Zero. It's delicious. And it has no calories, so it can't possibly be that bad for me. Now regular soda, that's a different ballgame. But I don't touch that. Launching probe. Probe launched. I mean, Coke Zero doesn't have. See, for me, it's the calories. I'm not worried. People are like, oh, it has aspartame. Aspartame is gonna kill you or something. No, I'm fucking everything's gonna kill me. Crossing the street while wow, there's some asshole is gonna kill me. All I know is this thing doesn't have calories. 
And that's all that matters, is what are the calories? Zero? Great. I can drink a gallon of this. Quitting soda is hard. Kicking Harabin might be... No. 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 Do not... No. You cannot compare... Making somebody give up soda to a heroin addiction. Launching probe. Probe launched. A five year old daughter loves you. She's like, it's cowboy. I mean, that's endearing, but. Launching probe. I'm, I just want to point out that I don't think I'm child appropriate. What you do is your decision, but personally, I think I'm very inappropriate for children. I just don't want your kid being at school and someone's like, well, you're ugly. And she's like, yeah, well, you're a fucking cum stain. And then her teacher is like, because I say things that children should not repeat. Why not have the soda and work off the extra cows for it? Because those aren't the kind of cows that I want. Soda calories are basically just sugar. Like, carbs can actually turn into energy. Sugar is just terrible for you. Like, more, it's not so much that, that like, when people are like, oh, soda's bad for you. What it re they really mean to say is so, or is sugar is bad for you we we especially in america more so than most countries we have sugar in so much shit like our bread the bread if you go to to fucking Publix and just pick up a loaf of white bread man over in france they would be like what is this cake you have and you're like oh no this is just our bread <laughs> like i'm not even kidding dude sugar is in so much shit in america It's bad. I know that it's, it's happening a lot in South America, too. They they have shit where it's like, you know, sports drinks, kids, energy drink, and it's literally just fucking sugar water. So that's why I'll do Coke Zeros, because zero sugar. I'm sure it's bad for me, but, you know, you got to have some vices. I don't like carbonated water. Never have, never will. Uh, there's a planet somewhere that I haven't seen. It's probably out here on one of these outer rings. I mean, to be fair, despite all the Coke Zeros I drink, I also drink a fuckload of water. Oh, it's this guy right here. Probe. 
Mm-hmm. There we go. Probe away. My favorite is still cookies. The the smell of like freshly baked chocolate chip cookies, like oh my god. Shit is so good. Like I could smell freshly like dude, it doesn't matter where I'm at in the house. If I smell cookies, I'm fucking taking a break from what I'm doing. I'm like there's some cookies I smell? Mm, let me just get like five of these fuckers. I'm dang like cookies are dangerous. I can't be around. Like I, I specifically try to keep sugary shit out of my house. Like Paige Paige will buy Oreos and I'm like, you need to fucking hide these. Because I have poor self-control. And if I see them out, I will eat every time I walk past, I will eat two Oreos. Like these cannot you can't just leave these out. These need to be fucking hidden and she tried to like hide them and I found them and I'm like I told you these when I say hidden I mean like put them in a fucking lockbox or something you cannot you can't just leave Oreos out in an environment where I can find them It's the same with like nicotine like even though I quit smoking if like I came home and there was just a pack of cigarettes like sitting on my kitchen table and I've been drinking I'd probably be like yeah I just yeah why not it's just one it's just, it's just, it's just like one cigarette like that's that's the most dangerous thing when it comes to quitting is you can't you absolutely need to remove whatever you're trying to quit from your environment if it's cookies if it's soda drugs whatever the case is get it the fuck out number one thing number one reason that people that are trying to quit stuff fail is ease of access to what they're trying to quit Launching probe. trying to quit cookies have someone smack you every time you put a cookie near your mouth All right, that's a hundred percent of Shara Barak, Shara Barak, Shara Baruch, uh, Father. I think we're done. I think we just a hundred percent of this whole zone. To the mass relay. So the only thing still here is Omega. Oh man. We got Project Overlord. We got Jack. Jack's pretty badass. I like Jack a lot. We have Firewalker and Zahid's mission over here. We have the Krogan over here. Citadel here. Well actually before we do all that, I did I did promise y'all one thing. Oh, it says it's depleted, but we're still going to probe Uranus. Yeah. <laughs> it's not depleted until I've had a chance to probe it. I will penetrate to the depths of the soul of this planet. Even the smallest bit. Probing it fucking deep. Probe launched. Nah, there's no lube used in space because no one can hear you scream. Launching probe.
probe launched. Mm. Launching probe. Probe away. They said it was depleted, but clearly we have we've it was not depleted. Oh. Probe launched. All right. It's been probed. Out of curiosity, what happens if I try it? Can I probe Earth for resources? Or is it just like, no, you cannot do this. Okay, we're not allowed to probe Earth. What about uh, Mars? Can we probe Mars? We can't probe Mars. Venus? Or Mercury? Oh, well, Mercury has stuff to... Probe launched. I'm surprised we can, like, you figure, like, our whole local cluster would be Probe empty, away. you know? Probe launched. Probe away. Away. Launching probe. What planet was Event Horizon there? I have no clue, man. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. I think more than games, that's something I'm really excited for, is like as my kid gets older, like watching certain movies that, like scary movies that I consider like really good, like Event Horizon. Venus. Probe away. I mean, I'm only looking for, like, real high. Like, we're gonna... Unless, unless something is, like, off the charts, we're not gonna probe it. Uh, what was that? Oh, it's not bad. Because I've gotten so much shit, man. Like, I'm probably not gonna need to... I'm probably not gonna need to get resources. Like, I, I spent 50,000 platinum on the facial repair thing Probe launched Probe launched I mean, yeah, but we're we're good for now. Launching probe. Element zero, I'll need more of, but I'll be good on. Like, I'll be good on iridium and shit for a while. Yeah, I really need a better SMG. Machine pistol sucks ass. Launching probe. That's what we should do. I was trying to think where I wanted to go. Let me pull up a list of weapons in Mass Effect 2. Find out, let's see, Mass Effect 2 weapon types. 
Um, bum, bum, heavy pistols and submachine guns are what I use. Heavy pistol, I already got the Carnifex, which is basically the best, I think. I think the Carnifex is the best pistol. Carnifex damage. No, actually, the M5 Phallix has more damage. The M5 Phallix has... Uh, 109.8 acquisition, the firepower pack DLC. What the fuck is that? Firepower pack was released. It comes with a Geth plasma shotgun. Uh, a pistol. Where do you even get this shit? DLC. I want I want this mega pistol. Uh, as for submachine guns, the shuriken sucks. There's the Tempest or there's the Locust. Huh, Tempest Dossier Tally or the Locust is Acquisition Kasumi Stealing Memory. What is Kasumi Stealing Memory? This mission is acquired after recruiting Kasumi on the Citadel. So I should probably recruit, if I go recruit Kasumi, um, I'll gain access to a mission where I can get basically the best SMG. Which would be good, because my character can only use pistols and SMGs, I think. DLC weapons got mixed into stores. You have to buy them from shops. Fuck. Let's go to the Citadel. We'll go to the Citadel. We'll get started on that. I never did. I don't I don't know the Master Thief thing. I never did that. Uranus, Pluto, Neptune. Oh, there we go. The mass relay is beyond Neptune. That's why we didn't know it was there. We discovered it. Yeah. Citadel. I have probes. Need more probes. Probing your anus. To the motherfucking citadel. Wait, this is Commander Shepard with the Normandy SV2 coming into the dock. What do you want, little Mau Mouse? Uh, who are we bringing with us? Let's go Morden. Morden and Miranda. What do you want, Harley Mau? Come here. Come here with your fluffy tail. Oh, definitely going for the fucking missile launcher. Jack is dope. I do like Jack. I like Jack more than Miranda, but Miranda's got that ass. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. 
and I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. Good to have you along, Kasumi. You ready to go? I travel light. I've already slipped my things aboard your ship. What? I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. I have a feeling you know something I don't. They didn't tell you? They call me secretive. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. I didn't even know her. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Well, I've never I've never played with her. I guess she came out after I'd beat Mass Effect 2. So do I have to do let me check this thing. Submachine guns. Kasumi stealing memory. Acquired after recruiting Kasumi on the Citadel. Head to Beckenstein in the Boltzmann system. That's the one I just got, right? Kasumi stealing memory. It is. Cool. Um... I mean, I've never played with her, so yeah, let's pull her out. Shadow Strike, Overload, and Flashbang. Cool. I got a harem of the waifus. Mm, yeah, that's good. Um, while I'm here, I feel like I should... I'm let me... Sorry, sir. No, I will not. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Yeah, uh, I'll check in. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything. Just yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My console says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. <laughs> so how about I just press this button right here? And we call it done. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. I will. Having access to the Council and the specters' resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. This guy seems nice. You gonna recruit all the squad mates? Yes. At least we're gonna try to. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidio. Um, God, there's so much more. There's a rapid transit this way. Oh, wait. We've added so much shit to this place. I need to find a shop. Um, here we go. Serranus application. 
applica- that sounds promising. Damn! 20% tech damage. Shit is so expensive. Why is it 90,000 credits? Yes. Now what's this? That's important. Mm. Go that way. This Cladless is a thief, and I want her arrested. I was just walking by. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food. We'll try talking to people in a bit. Right, saves the galaxy, but still broke as fuck. Hello, Titan Pulsar. Oh, oh. Excuse me. What? Look, I know our races aren't on the best of terms. You are kinslayers. Your Admiral Hackett let the Council die. There's nothing I can do about that. What I can do is stop the Geth from attacking again. You hunt Geth? Geth, pirates, mercenary scum, all over the Terminus. That's dangerous game. I don't like your kind, but I'll yeah. help the enemy of my enemy. I'll give you a discount, but I'll deny it if word gets around. Dope. Thank you. Just get the hell out of here before I change my mind. Thank you. I'm gonna buy. Uh, we're all using hand cannons, so let's get the heavy pistol damage. Thank you for that. I missed the citadel. I don't think Citadel Souvenirs has what I need anyway. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Forgot since you abandoned the Counts, the aliens hate humans a little. Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. Nobody said this was going to be easy. But I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refused to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? 
Cerberus seems to be the only group who cares about our missing colonists. I feel for those colonists, Shepard. But they went out to the Terminus systems to get away from the Alliance. We can't protect them, but you can. Or at least you're trying to, and I get the sense there's more going on here. The Reapers are moving again, but not through the Geth. It's the Collectors. They're behind the colony abductions. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. Huh? I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it. Just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow it. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line. And I don't have much to show for it. It's not like you to give up, Anderson. I haven't given up. But I have to be realistic. Even as a counselor, there's only so much I can do. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity, and the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony, and more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Dina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? <laughs> of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. <laughs> Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus... He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. How have the last couple of years treated you? Knowing the truth about but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. 
It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. So what what advantage does being a Spectre in Mass Effect 2 do for me? Like, is there is there the Spectre shop still? Oh, here we go. Main entrance. Here you'll find CSEC office and souvenirs. So it's all the same area. Um, going to the CSEC office. Where is it at? CSEC Captain Bailey is this way. Yeah, where's the Spectre Requisition Store? Space Hamster! Yeah, I'm guessing it'll just come into play in dialogue in certain parts. accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. What the... Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. After security. the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize. Thanks for your time. Next! I'm going to Google it. Oh, uh, Spectre Requisitions. There's... Uh, there's requisitions in Mass Effect 3, but not in Mass Effect 2. Let's go back to the Normandy. Sippity-doo, into space I go, going and blowing up all the space hosts. Chat, I'm going to give you a choice. Do you want to go get the SMG? Or... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Do we want to go get Jack? Because Jack has some, like, badass biotics. Jack has, like, shockwave and shit. Ooh. 50% heavy pistol damage against armor. Well, la de fucking da.
I mean, this is a soft poll. I'm not actually polling it. I'm just looking for, for responses in chat. And I am seeing Jack, we'll get Jack, get Jack, SMG, Jack, 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 SMG, SMG, Jack, 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 okay, more people want Jack, we'll go get Jack. Jack's just badass, Jack's actually like, beyond Miranda, Jack's my other, uh, romance interest. Emily Wong. And I'm going to change up my outfit, too, I think. So this set is power by 15, shield by 10. But I can... I can... So this is health by 5. Health by 5. Headshot damage by 10. Weapon damage by 5. Um... Health by five is good. Power by three. Reduce the delay. Your shields start regenerating by 10%. Yeah, that sounds nice. Weapon damage by three. Health by three. Shield by three. Storm speed by 10. All right, now this is still just not going to be worth it. Um... What is the Cerberus Assault? Heavy ammo capacity shields on health. Regen, storm speed, health by 20. That's nice. Health by 20 is actually really nice. Plus this looks badass. Jack is the only love interest in Mass Effect 2. But Miranda got that fat ass. But Jack has that like, a little bit of crazy to her. We'll go get Jack. The jack escape is going to require a sniper. We don't do that here. But we do have this cool thing called heavy pistols. Recruit. Well, but hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Wasn't some someone was saying that it's better to bring grunt along on the jack mission because there's like extra dialogue. Like, how good, how good is Grunt's dialogue? Probe away. I mean, how, how funny are these comments? Are these comments worth waiting until I get Grunt to go get Jack? Because then I would do SMG and then Grunt and then Jack. But I do want to have Jack in the party. Probe launched. Grunt is a hundred percent worth it. All right, let's. If that's the case, we're gonna go do. Kasumi's thing since it's DLC I'll get my SMG then we'll get Grunt and then we'll get Jack Grunt, Jack no, we're, doing, we're gonna do the SMG first I want a new gun if we were going straight for Jack I'd do that, but if we have to go get Grunt first that that makes things a little bit trickier. Serpent Nebula. Oh man, there's a bunch of shit out here, ain't there? Launching probe. Probe away. 
I mean, my only plans for tomorrow are go to the T-Mobile store and then stream and then work out and then stream more. Because we went today to add, uh, we went to add Paige's mom onto our phone plan. Cause she was paying like 60 bucks a month for the phone plan she was on. Um, which is outrageous, you know, for like one person, she spent like 60, 50 bucks. And I'm like, we can put you on our T-Mobile plan for 15 a month. And she was like, well, I don't, you know, I don't want to, I'm like, just, no, you're going on our plan. Like $15 a month is fucking nothing when you're paying 50. So we went to do that. And while I was there, they had the, uh, they had like a deal where it was like, you know, add a new phone and you get a free Galaxy S, uh, S21. And I'm like, ooh, 5G phones. I me mean, likey. And I was like, hey, you know, she's going to just use my old S7, but it is a new line. Do we still get the free phone? And they're like, well, you don't, like, you know, that deal is only for people getting the new line. Um, she wouldn't, she wouldn't get the phone with it. And I'm like, oh, well. And then I was like, just out of curiosity, what's the, the S10 worth? Because I have an S10. Um... I'm like, you know, is the S10 worth anything? Can I, like, trade that in? And she, like, looked it up, and she was like, the S10 is a $800 trade. And I'm like, oh, shit. She's like, yeah, so you can trade that in and just get the new phone basically for free. I'm like, well, goddamn. That sounds like a fucking deal. So I'm going to go go up there tomorrow when I wake up, trade in my S10, and get a S21 with 5G. Not a bad oh, deal, right? Launching probe. Probe away. All of them are bad. I mean, a phone company is a phone company. It's, it's, you know, all that really matters is does it work? You know, I don't need a, I don't need like every time I talk to T-Mobile, they're like, you know, did we make you smile today? And I'm like, listen, I don't, you know, I don't need you to be my friend. I just need my phone to work. That's it. <laughs> like, I don't need you to make me happy. I literally, all I give a shit about is do I have service? That's it. That is the extent of my cares, is do I have service? If I got service, we're good. Do we have to have a 5G plan to actually utilize 5G? I don't think so. I don't know. Probe away. I'm pretty sure it's just included in the network. I used to buy the actives a lot back when I was in Florida. Now I don't have a justification for them because I live inside. Like I was still, I was still after I moved to Tennessee. I still was like getting the actives, and then I was like, why am I buying this? I literally sit at a fucking computer all day. I don't need an active phone. I don't think we're good here. Yeah, that's what that's the thing I like about T-Mobile is there's no like like I'm pretty I'm pretty sure let me see. Uh da 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 Let's see. Mm. You need a 5G capable device. If you have 5G, good news. 5G is included in all our plans, no cost. Don't have a 5G advice yet? No worries. You can still use 4G. Yeah, so 5G is free as long as you have a 5G phone. Which is dope. B 
Beckenstein. Beckenstein has been depleted. But you never know, sometimes there's... a hidden gold mine on depleted planets. Why do y'all want the space hamster? Cloak and sneak behind a target to deliver a devastating blow. Uh, overload? Also recharges the time of her powers. I want to max out that. Flashbang. Minor damage and incapacitates all targets. That's cool. I'll get you one point there. You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Dope. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. This ought to be interesting. I've never done That's this. What I'm going for. Do the hamster, it opens more dialogue. This is our stop. to chase it around the ship <laughs> after you mr gun just one moment sir there seems to be an issue with the statue is there a problem yeah no mr hawk just doing a scan i don't believe we've met donovan hawk solomon gun a pleasure sir the scanners aren't picking anything up Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. If it makes you feel more secure, she can wait outside. Good to see we're not going to have a problem. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. MTG Benthasis Oracle? I don't even know who that is. 
Thassa's Oracle. Thassa's Oracle. Banned and Historic. What was the card? Uh, mm. Thassa's Oracle enters the battlefield. Look at the top X cards your library, where X is your devotion to blue. Put one of them on top of your library and the rest on the bottom in a random order. If X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. Yeesh. So you probably do something, cycle out a fuckload of blue creatures, mill your deck, pop Thassa's Oracle, and win. Key card in a few different broken combo decks. What is this? Santa Pack was included as a set of mystical archive players realized that you could build a deck full of one offs in order to allow Tainted Pack to mill your entire gold deck and and win with the enters the battlefield trigger on Thassa's Oracle. Jesus. So it was a deck people were using to basically instant win historic matches. Can't say I'm surprised. Look at the ball. Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, done. Thank goodness. How about those travels? Dogs. Your hooded cyberpunk companion makes me feel uneasy. Bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his uncle? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large one, at least. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, Keiji could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Private area away from the crowded party and collect enough hack DNA. Let's go with the password to his vault and speak with him long enough to obtain a tamp sample. What's find a way to shut down the barrier. Hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gun, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I 
I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. Hmm. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization oh, no. to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? I see. I don't know who you think you are, but Rose says she's never heard of you. Nice try, though. Enjoy the party. Private <laughs> rooms. We need to get in there. Okay. The best place to find Hawk's DNA. Um, bump it up. It's a nice try, though. <laughs> okay. Um, bum 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 bum. Oh, check. This feels like a discount version of Hitman. That door goes to a security room. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking at best. That door goes to a security room. I'll take care of the lock. There we go. Ready when you are. Boo doo doo boo doo boo 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 doo boo 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 doo boo Get ready. You can't be back here. Take him down. Stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rowe sent you. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and got it. Now we can crack that voice scatter. Okay, so I got the password. I got the voice sample. We're gonna go get his DNA, and then all we gotta do is cut the power. Did you hear? Santiago took over that refinery on Zoria. He's such a shrewd businessman. The Blue Suns are lucky to have him. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. Look, I already called in once. This is getting old fast. <laughs> Just try it again. Fine. Chief Rowe, Samuels again. These guests are backing. They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy the party. <laughs> Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. <laughs> Found a sample? No. A credit shit. <laughs> the cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. It's clean. It's a plant. Good morning. Time to wake up. Sorry. Right. 
Hmm. No DNA. Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Keiji's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 4,800 galactic languages. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. That should do it. Let's get out of here. It's got a little... Oh, it's like a hot tub in his room. Damn, that guy's balling. Alright, so all I gotta do now is find the power. <laughs> this guy's got double waifus. Chat, any ideas? <clears throat> oh, here we go. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. One sec. That should take care of the barrier. Hawk throws a hell of a party. Yes. I'm not too pleased with the caliber of people he's invited, though. That got it. The barrier's down. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. Bow, bow, bow. Collector armor. Change weapons. I really like statues. So this is Hawk's vault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Michelangelo's David. Just... 
Wow. Think we could get this out through the door? Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. Hmm. There's a lot of Krogan statues. I feel like its eyes are following me. Yikes. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. The head of the Statue of Liberty. Even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! Do I gotta... Is the... The SMG down here somewhere? Oh, I guess... Yeah, it's right there, it looks like. Oh my god. There it is. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's cold locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming, just like your old friend. Let's see you try. This is where your special skills come into play, Shepard. Let's do this. Yeah, I saw the SMG. How do I get the SMG? That's a Casa Locust. No, the Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. Now, what's this? Nope. New gun. Glad I turned around. Mm -hmm. Oh, it already upgraded me. How nice. Oh, yeah. Let's open it up. We've been. Oh, this thing's good! Damn, dude. Oh no. Um, hit him with that.
Find another way. Back to the boot. Oh no. I got died doing the crash test. Is throw even making the the biotic combo? It'll take heavier weapons than that to blow those. Weapons than that to blow those tanks. Ah, that's what it meant by heavy weapons. Oh 
Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Please cloak and kill this big boy. You can curve, like, man, I played so much more three than two. And you can do such a better job of, like, curving shit around uh, to hit people in three. It's insane. Like, it's not terrible in two. One, one, you can't curve at all. But, like, being able to, like, just swing a throw around this? the corner. To fuck somebody up. Keep them busy. I'll take care of this myself. On our right. <laughs> Going dark. I do that. Quick save in just in case I die. Yeah, I feel like throw doesn't detonate combos properly in this. It just yeets them away. Incoming. Get down. You could have done this the easy way, Gold. Allow me to show you the hard way. Up ahead. Like now that he's like, that's, just, that's a biotic combo. Yeah, you 
left that guy basically dead. But if I get this one... I mean, he still yeah, takes coming. damage. He's taking good damage from getting thrown. Oh, fuck. God damn. What did you tell your friend, Kasumi? Oh, what the fuck? You're doing this for love? There, if I need it. If I can get to the ship, I can take down the shield. Even if you escape, I'll scour the galaxy for you. The guards are dead. Oh, never mind. Got a clear shot. Here we go. She's got to be like part cybernetic or something, right? from the right.
What? Really? Nobody there? This thing outclasses even the heavy pistol right now. This SMG is fucking good, dude. Yeah, Omni Tool Stab is not. Not in this game. You have, you have this. Yeah. That was a pretty cool mission though. I've never I never did that before. So that's that's to me, that's uh dope. A chance to do a mission I've never seen. we found is all here and it's big Kasumi if the council ever got wind of this the Alliance could be implicated Kasumi I I encrypted the information to keep it safe and I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box so no one could get the whole package but if I'm dead and if anyone knows about this then I've made you a target my love I'm so, so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi. Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I, I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. Yeah, Widow's crazy. Kasumi is loyal. Kasumi power, flashbang. Kasumi outfit, locust, multi-core amplifier, squad bonus, 20% tech, and a fuckload of credits. 20,030 from service for 50k. I need to find the pistol. I need that other pistol. Weapons, Mass Effect 2. Where is my pistol at? The M5 Felix, where are you? <laughs> M5 Felix, Mass Effect Legendary. Ba -da -bum -bum, ba -da -bum -bum. Uh, only makes the beginning bearable is the phallics. I figured it would be a research weapon, but it isn't. 
And I figured it'd be Omega, and it isn't. Uh, Tachunka for tax database or Ratches Wares. Can't recall which, but it's definitely on Tachunka. I gotta go to Tachunka, it looks like, boys. Get me that good tech. Mountain shit is the best. Alright, alright, alright. If y'all insist... No messages for you, Commander. Before we leave, I will go. I have to go back there. To get my thingy anyway. Mass relay. Quiet, DD. I will go by the space hamster. If it'll make you happy, chat. Is the best thing I have. So we'll auto level it up. Increase the blast radius when warp detonates biotics. So warp will go. Boom. She's almost got shadow strike, but we're gonna go flashbang. My dude, Morden, we're gonna get some shit. Probably save up for incinerate. I need, I wish I could take my points back. One point, two, three, four. If I took out, I wish I could like undo all of them. Cause I'd pull these points and throw and I'd max out warp. Throw has been pretty uh, disappointing thus far. Isn't Grunt on to Chunka? Space hamster. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? Spectre. I'm a spectre. That is quite a prestigious role. It is my pleasure to extend the government employee discount to you, Spectre. Please, feel free to check the updated prices. Thank you. I'm gonna buy my space hamster. Destiny Ascension. Space hamster! I want to buy the Kasumi Memories DLC, but you don't have enough money? Well, friend, the good news is it comes free with the Legendary Edition, so... You know, you could just do that, and you'd have it. <laughs> yes, I need my Spectre discount for... For the what, sir? Excuse me, sir, what are you buying? Spectre business. Advanced training. I always go the wrong way. And a special Spectre hamster. I 
no. Learn to use a single bonus power, obtaining more loyal squad members. Uh, cool. Flashbang. No messages for you, Commander. Where is Tachunka? We're gonna swing by Tachunka just to buy the gun, and then, uh, what time is it anyway? It's 11. I'm thinking we go to Tachunka, and then after that, we go to bed. It's Tachunka and the Eagle Nebula. It's not available yet? Are we sure about this? Where is Tachunka? Fox being on Tachunka isn't happy news, it's too far into the game. Wait, how do I get to Tachunka? Is Tachunka a... Tachunka? There are two missions to get to Tachunka. I either need to do Grunt, Rite of Passage, or Morden, Old Blood. Grunt thinks he may be seriously ill and has requested a trip to Tachunka to get a diagnosis. Borden has learned that Blood Pack mercenaries have captured Malian, his former protege, and are holding him on to Chunka. Malian helped Morden work on the Genophage project, so the capture raises possible security concerns. Hmm. Well, here we go. Grunt has a prerequisite Horizon mission and a Waking Grunt. Waking Grunt following Dossier, the Warlord. So there's a prerequisite mission for Grunt, whereas Morden's prerequisite Horizon. I need to do Horizon. So I have to do Horizon first, no matter what. Before I can go into Chunka and get the thing I want. Well, he's got the booty, and there's the Kasumi overload. How about we purchase you? You're just buffing up everybody, which is nice. Trapper has flash bag. Flash bang grenade. Kasumi has two points in it. Good. Shepard. Shepard, 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 Shepard. Shepard's not going to keep flash bang grenade. I mean, getting slam is a good choice. Just zhoof. Slam's a pretty juicy detonator. Retrain powers after Horizon as well. I mean, I want to get every team member I can. This mission looks Stay like shit's just going down. Do we want to do this right now? Is this mission kind of long? I'm already tired. Chat, what do you think? Should we, uh... I mean, it's 11. I think we wrap up and maybe do a day stream tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's the play. Because I'm like slowly, I'm slowly like sinking lower and lower until I'm not.
the fucking mic had to fuck up. Eat that shit. But yeah, um, I'm not sure what time we'll do that stream. My guess would be around like noon or 11 o'clock, something like that. Uh, but there are some fun videos coming out for y'all in a little bit. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I'll, uh, oh, yeah, tired. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. So have a good night. See you then. Peace.